Everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a black screen issue on your Amazon Fire Stick. Now, the first thing you want to look at is your power source. So, if you have it just plugged in with the USB cable on the back of your TV, it's probably not getting in enough power to turn on. Uh, so, you got to plug it directly into the wallet list uh, with the Amazon charger, or you can maybe just use a phone charger to do this, and this will give it enough power to turn on. Now another thing is look at this little HDMI device that came with it. Sometimes this extender isn't pushed in enough to actually turn it on. So you have to push it all the way in. Otherwise just completely remove it and plug this directly into the back of the TV. That could work as well. So this extender could be causing the issue Why it's just a blast screen. Uh, also look at your TV. Make sure you have it on the correct source. So if you don't have it on the correct source, uh, it's not going to display on your TV. So look at HM1, 2, and 3, and 4, and so on. Now another thing is uh, you might want to restart your Amazon Fire Stick as well. Uh, maybe that's causing the issue. So you can go to your remote. I believe if you hold down the, uh, the play button and the middle dial button, uh, this will restart your TV as well. Uh, so just hold those down, restart it, unplug it, and turn it back on. So it's restarting. Now another thing that you could do is factory reset your Amazon Fire Stick. So using the remote, maybe it's just a complete black screen and you can't see anything. This will initiate it. So you wanna hold down uh, the, the uh, black button and the right dial button at the same time. So just hold these two down for about 15 to 20 seconds. And that should initiate a factory, refall, uh, factory reset to the default settings. And uh, you might have to log in with your Amazon account and password again. So if it's a black screen, it'll just automatically do it and then maybe in like two or three minutes, everything will be working again. So that's like the last-ish option. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, uh, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Tech.